Hi everyone, so hope you enjoyed the Tarantula theme video 143. Now, today for 2019, I bring you Tarantula feeding video 144. So it's been a while since I last fed the teas, so get ready for an awesome feeding video, three part series as usual. So don't forget to look on the video description, I posted all of the uh, tarantulas, scorpions, and other true spiders by their scientific name and their common name, so uh, you'll be able to find it. So. With that said and done with, grab a bag of popcorn, your favorite drink, and enjoy the show. Alright, so the very first tarantula I'll be featuring is my big mature female Avicularia Avicularia, pink toe. None of my other Avicularias were interested in eating, especially my Carabina Lieda. So uh, this is the big female that I'll be mating with uh, Tarantula Chani's mature male. I'll probably be doing that in uh, the next few days. I'm just going to be feeding her uh, quite well. So we'll see if uh, she's interested in feeding. And uh, quite beautiful, very gentle. And that's how you do it, ladies and gents. Vicolera Vicolaria. All right, this tarantula, I apologize. It's very difficult to actually see her. Uh, she has a 100% success rate in my feeding videos. Uh, she eats anything that's dropped in her cage. Uh, this is my adult female, Pisolotheria tigrina with Selly, the Wessel Tiger ornamental. So, I'm going to see if I could try to push it near her. Oh, there we go. There's one. Oh, man. Okay, there she is. Okay, let me take the second worm and bring it close to her. Beautiful. Gotta love your pokies. And there it is, five inch female named Tina. All right guys, this is the OBT that was in my recent uh, video called Tarantula Takes Her Picture Taken. Seemed to be very chill uh, when she was taking their pictures, but actually when we tried to get her up on the uh, her cave, uh, she wasn't really well behaved, which is very typical for these orange bitey things. So you've seen how large she is, so we're going to feed her up. There we go. That's nice. So far, um on the top shelf and hadn't had much luck of the top shelf other than the Avic Avic and the Pita Green Wiselli and this OBT. So did a great job, love her. Georgia. Okay, I love how my spider webs are flowing throughout the wind. I should have my ceiling fan on as we speak. So this one here is my adult female Orphanaceus Filipinus, which is the Filipino orange. Really nice five inch female. Oh, gotta love that.
There we go. Okay, let's have a nice look what she looks like. That very nice orange tea from the Philippines. Max size. Okay, this gal has a success rate of a thousand percent being on my feeding videos. I've always featured her and I always enjoy seeing her eat. Uh, this is Lassiodora parahybana, the salmon pink bird eater mature female. Oh wow, beautiful shot. There we go, look at the fang action. Oh wow. Now these are really interesting tarantulas. Uh, they get up to about 10 inches. And these are very, very cheap. And the fact that uh, these guys are mass producers for uh, slings. A uh, typical egg sac from these guys are around 2,000 to 2,500. And you usually get uh, from these sacks like an 80 to 90% yield. So, uh, which is really cool. And over here, a uh, quarter inch sells for like $5 Canadian. So making it the cheapest tarantula, but definitely one to go after because it is so much easier to take care of uh, than a Therophosa. So I'll give a second one. Whoop. And see if she wants it. Hey, don't slap me. She's doing the happy dance. <laughs> She's quite cute. Oh, let's see what she's gonna do. Bada bing, bada boom. Look how. Oh! No, no, no. You almost. Yes! <laughs> what a cute girl. And yeah, this makes a feeding video. It just to show you how these tarantulas, they're really avid hunters. Good job, Daisy. Good job. Okay, way down the hole, you can probably see some legs and the spinnerets. Uh, this is my sub adult female Lampropelma violisiopes which is the Singapore blue. Uh, yep, we got it, we got some attack. All right. I don't know if you guys see it, sorry guys. And there we go. I uh, can just barely see uh, my female. She's about four and a half inches. Definitely a nice tea to look at. All right, this one here is a Phonopelma simani, Costa Rican zebra spiderling. Yeah, this is uh, the species that actually was featured in the Home Alone series where Kevin put uh, the spider on Marv's face. And he didn't actually sc act really scream on camera. Uh, they had to add in that because Daniel Stern, who was uh, playing that uh, character, uh, probably knew about these spiders and uh, they would didn't want to scare him off, so they added the scream uh, later on. So there we go, a little tidbit for you. Alright, up next is a Hysterocrates species Nigeria, which is the Cameroon Red Baboon. Uh, this is my female. That I got from Suleiman last year. Uh, 
there we go. 8 it. Alright, anyone can guess this species with the Nike stripe pattern. Somalpius Erminia, Venezuelan Sun Tiger. Boosh. There we go. Unsexed. Oh, nice. Got the second one. Good job. Sweet. Okay, Tapinikinius rasti, formerly T species Union Island. It's the Union Island tree spider. Beautiful. There is the species. Still is a Tapnikinius. Now the only species that is not Tapnikinius right now is um, T. gigas, which is now a Pseudoclomorus, and also T. elenae, which is the the red tree spider. I love it. Pretty cool. Okay, finally some little bit larger tarantulas now. Uh, right now this one here is your common rose hair, Gramostola poteri, adult female. Wow, that is a really slow attack, but super healthy. Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> pretty in blue is my luscious female, Chromatopelma cyanopubescens, commonly called the green bottle blue or the Venezuelan blue bottle brush, which is kind of a weird name, but yeah. Always had great success from this female. Okay, we'll give a second one. Oh, she, she's greedy. Oh, there she be. Greedy. I just love the colors on them. Especially a lot of my uh, non-subscriber, sorry, the non-T people that subscribe to my channel actually like the, this color of the spider because they've never seen a spider that's, you know, that this color like blue, green, and orange. This is why they call it chromatopelma, meaning color in Greek. Here's Alberto. Uh, he is my mature male, Brachypelma albiceps, which is the Mexican gold red rump. Uh, he's going to be bred with my mature female. Probably in the next uh, month or two, right after I make him see a sperm web. But anyways, let's feed him. Oh, nice! Wow, look at that! Wow, he's amazing for an old guy. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely tell he's mature. If you look at his palps, his feelers. Uh, zoom in. Do, 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 do. See, got those little boxing gloves. And there's the hooks right here, which is used to hook on the female's fangs. So you can see the ap big apparent size difference. You can see how my mature female is a lot larger than he is. But uh, he's a great guy for sure. And pretty hungry too. Okay, here's another mature male that's usually always hungry. Uh, this is Peter Griffin, uh, JMC's 
mature male Gramostola rosea, which is the red face rose hair. And you can tell, just like Alberto, he's got his hooks on his first pair of legs, as well as little bulbous palps for his feelers. Yeah. Alright, here's another big tarantula that is not new to my channel, and you've seen her many times, just like Daisy. Uh, here's Daniela, she is also my salmon pink bird eater female. She's pretty much getting up there in size. Uh, I've, I've had her ever since she was a little spiderling. And she's growing up really fast. And that's typical for these salmon pink bird eaters because these are really fast growing. I remember uh, my mature male, Dan. Man, Dan the man. <laughs> uh, he grew at least six and a half inches in two short years. It was just crazy how fast he grew. And I wasn't feeding him all that much compared to uh, my females. But there we go. Here's Daniela, my five and a half inch female salmon pink bird eater, Lassiodora parahabana, or LP for short. Okay, so I'll check to see if my poteri is hungry and then I'll have to charge up my battery. Alrighty, here's Talia, my Grandma Stola Poteri, rose hair. Boy oh boy, I got quite a number of them. <laughs> so this is the second one that's seen on my channel. I also have Michaela, Angelica, both adult females, and I have a little smaller sling that I'm raising up. Hopefully uh, that turns out to be male. Okay, so now I'm looking for a super worm and I don't think there's one. Oh yeah, there you go. Nice. Good to see her eat. And quite freshly molted as well. You can see the nice pink carapace, which is what they're known for. Okay, so here we go. This is a female Nandu tripepi, giant blonde bird eater. Beautiful. Say it's close to about two and a half inches. All right, this one here is a Pisolotheria striata, Mysore ornamental, unsexed. Bingo. Pretty cool. Alright, this one here is a Nandu Tripepi Giant Blonde Bird Eater. This is my second one, and a lot smaller than the female you just seen. But still, they do crazy attacks. Like so. Beauty. Here's my female Brachypelma bumgartenii, which is the Macoan Orange Beauty. Three inch female. Very beautiful. All right, gonna have to film top down because she's very skittish. Uh, this is Chitose. She is my female Zenitha species blue. Uh, they call it the Amazon blue bird eater or the blue bloom bird eater. Quite a rare species. Very cool. You can see in the light 
her femurs have a blue tinge to them. But strangely enough, when Isaiah took uh, pictures of her with uh, his uh, Olympus digital camera, the femurs near uh, the chelicerae uh, were purple. Here we go. Nice. Here's everyone's favorite brachy. Uh, this is Emilia, my adult female brachypelma Emilia. The Mexican painted red leg or true red leg. Boosh! I love that. Sweet. So she's an adult female, about four and a half inches. And what's really unique about these Brachypelma Emilias is that they have the black triangle on its carapace. Similar to uh, the Cyrocosmus elegans, which is the Trinidad dwarf, has a very similar looking carapace, but a lot smaller than the B. Emilia. That was hot. I love that. All right, always a popular attraction in my feeding videos. Uh, this is my adult female Brachypelma classy, uh, the Mexican pink, and it's very easy to see why uh, they adopted that common name. You can look at the pink legs. So her name is Petunia, like a pink flower. But she's very vicious with her supers and attacks them like a ton of bricks. Nice. Molted a couple of months ago. Alright, here's Necroth, my last Eudora Klugi, Bahia Scarlet Bird Eater, immature male. Even though that he's pretty fat and well fed, indeed a male. Here's Chimera looking very beautiful. This is a cross between a Bumgartini and a Bomi. I call the Mexican Orange Beauty. Uh, this is Chimera. Yeah, I bought this as a at a pet store. Thought that this was a B Bumgartini. I kind of felt like it because the way the carapace was darkened, but. Unfortunately, this one is a hybrid, so uh, she's just a showpiece of my collection. I have no intentions to uh, breed her and mess up the Brachypelma genus, which is now under the protective CITES list. So Brachypelma now are starting to be harder to find in Canada, especially to get them imported from uh, other countries. Okay, Femme Fatale, Ada Wong. Uh, she is my female Brachypelma erratum, which is the Mexican flame knee. Very obvious for the flame knees. Boosh! Excellent. And right after uh, this feeding video, uh, I have Resident Evil 7 that I'm working on, uh, doing the daughter's DLC as well as uh, the bedroom. Nice. Very skittish these erratum are and tend to be very hair flicky just like the other brackies. Alright this was the most skittish of my brachypelmas and tend to be the more defensive of them. Uh, this is brachypelma bomi which is the Mexican fire leg. Really cool looking species. This is a three and a half inch female. No, I would say three inch. Recently molted. Looking really good. A suspect male Afonopalma gabelli which is the Chihuahuan 
desert species from Texas. I don't know, I have a Calcodes that's pretty evil tempered, I have a Varisi that's evil tempered, and I got this Gabelli too that's Yeah, he was just hungry. Good boy Gabriel. Or Gabrielle, if she actually turns out to be female. But very cool. Harpactera pulcropes, which is the golden blue leg baboon. I think that one got it. Oh yeah, definitely. Yep. That was a sure quickie little attack from this little one. It's about, I'd say, a good three quarters of an inch. Nice. Okay, this one here is a Brachypalma angustum female which is the Costa Rican red-haired. Excellent. Very similar looking to bee wagons. All right, Salmopius Cambridge, Trinidad Chevy. I'm gonna name her Trinity the second after my late female. Boosh. Oh, she's a hard sucker. There we go. Nice. Yeah, she's about three and a half inches. Desperately needs a molt uh, because usually when they're freshly molted, they're a lot, lot greener in color. Yep. Perfect. All right, Mina's turn. She is my five inch female Nandu Colorado Velosis, which is the Brazilian black and white. Uh, this was the very first tarantula I bought at my very first expo in 2009. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, Angelica's turn. She is my Grandma Stolo Poteri, the rose hair. Very gentle. All right, here's a really cool true spider. Uh, this is Sicarius thomasoides. Which is the six eyed sand spider. One of the most toxic spiders I own. Look at that. That quick. There we go, isn't that magical? One hit. Sweet. Okay, guys, so this will be the last tarantula I'm going to feature, my Monosentropus Balfouri. You have to see her, she's flipping beautiful. Alright, chilling way back here is Lily. She is my freshly molted female, Monosentropus Balfouri, which is the Socotra Island blue-legged baboon that was donated to me by T. Sway Spiders back in 2012, and this is the very same specimen. Excellent. Okay, let me get my light and show you her amazing colors. 
Let's get another super so we can draw her out a little bit more. I don't want to use too much because I have a lot of mouths to feed. Okay, let's get a second one, see if we can try her out. Beautiful, isn't she? She's marvelous. Awesome. That's great. Alright, guys, so that is it for Tarantula Feeding Video 144 Part 1. So, right now it's 12.05 on January 7th now. So, I'm going to be editing this after I'm done school because now I'm back in school and teaching the students so after I come home I will go and record it so featured these four shelves here and part two will be one two three four and then the third part will be this shelf and that shelf over here so guys thanks for watching hope you enjoy it and don't forget to rate subscribe and comment and let me know which one was your favorite attack. Alright guys, see you later.